Hello, welcome to Silavi Tarot. So, how is everyone doing today? I hope you're well. I hope you are in great spirits. I hope you're enjoying your journey, right? So, before we start, of course, announcements. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, everything is below. All right. If you are interested in a two question, everything is on my website. All right. Um, the only way to reach me is my website. All right. So don't get scammed in any other platform, please. Um, also check out my new channel. All right. My meditation channel, my powerful meditation channel. Um, if you are wanting to manifest anything, right. Manifest love, manifest, um, money, right. Uh, we have something on there as well. Of course, show love if you want to support me. Um, of course, subscribe over there and over here. All right. So let's take a look today. Um, I'm actually going to start off by getting a message uh, for you today. This is a reminder energy here just to start things off on a positive note. So let's see what these messages are. All right. And if this resonates with you, of course, subscribe. All right, what's going on with my viewers and what do they need to hear today? What do they need to hear? All right, so let's see what this says for you at this time. It says, question, do you enjoy your own company? I mean, really, you don't spend more time with anyone else on this planet besides yourself. So you might as well start to learn how to start spending time with yourself and getting comfy in the process. Take some time today to embrace your personality and enjoy the company. Okay. We also have, what else is this? Let's pull one more out here. All right. We also have daily affirmations. All right. I release and forgive the past. I release and forgive the past. All right. I release and forgive so that I am able to move on onto bigger and better things. This is a new moment. I'm free and I'm ready to let go. And then actually let that shit go. Right. OK, that's what it says. Right. You know, I don't curse on here. So uh, let it go. All right. So that's your message here. Being ready to spend some time with yourself. Right. And really spend some time with yourself, not spend your time with yourself and think and overthink and stress and all that jazz. But really just enjoy you here. All right. So let's dig into love and let's see what's going on in this love energy at this time. What's going on in love for my viewers? Mm hmm. What's going on in love with my viewers? Some of you are getting contact from someone here, and I feel like someone here doesn't want other people to know about it. There's some sort of secret energy that's uh, happening here between you and your person, all right? Whether it's secret thoughts, right? I'm, I'm secretly thinking about reaching out to you, or I'm secretly missing you, or I secretly want your attention, all right? Someone here wants your attention pretty badly, I would say, right? I feel like for some of you, you may feel like, well, I haven't really connected with this person the way I used to. Maybe they're dating. Maybe they're reconnecting with other people or connecting with other people here. Um, but am I moving on? There's just a strong energy of either you or your person. Someone here wants to connect. Someone here wants to say something like I want to tell you something. But I'm hoping that you'll reach out to me first. I'm hoping that you'll give me some sort of attention here. This could be an attention seeker or this could be somebody that talks about themselves a lot. But either way, for some of you, okay? But there's an energy of late night thoughts, deep late night thoughts, right? I constantly think about you. I constantly think about what your next moves are here. And it's so interesting because the both of you are in this energy of thinking of one another. OK, I'm also getting this energy of like this person randomly popped up in my head or is constantly randomly popping up in my head throughout my day. Why? Why am I constantly thinking about this person? And there's a strong energy of I try to hide behind my silence. I try to hide behind, you know, some sort of image here. But at night, when I lay my head down on my pillow, I think of you. I think of you here. I think about our energy, I think about our connection, I think about how I didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. Someone here didn't give you the benefit of the doubt here. They could have been projecting their own insecurities onto this connection. 
I'm also getting an energy of someone here wondering, like, have you moved on? What are you up to here? And again, take what resonates with you here. But these late night thoughts are really intense from what I'm feeling. I'm not wanting to do it. I'm not wanting to really think about you, but I do. Someone here is like planning to try to get your attention however they can. I want to get your attention, whether it's an accidental text or it's a butt call or whatever it is. But you stay in my mind. You stay in my comfort zone. You stay in my heart here. Someone here released you or released a connection here and now they're regretting it. They regret the way that they didn't court you or the way that they didn't take this connection very seriously. And I feel like one of their powers or one of their um, powers, I should say, yeah, is being silent. Like, I don't talk very much here. I keep you in the dark. I don't really express much. I don't express what I'm feeling too much here. So you never know what's going on with me. Some of you do not trust this person. And this person doesn't have to be someone here that dates other people, right? Because not everybody does that, okay? Not everybody does that. But there's just this energy of, I like you more than you think I like you. Like, I love you more than you think I love you. Like, I've only shown you what I want you to see. I don't want you to see everything, okay? So someone here is very good at that here. They're very good at just moving in a very discreet manner. And for some of you, it's like, I respect that, but I, I don't feel comfortable with that energy because I'm very expressive. All right, let's get a little bit more for this connection, please. What here? Someone here could also have a family here and there's been some blockages with this connection. Oh God. I feel like there's an energy of I never really gave up. I just had a lot of things in my way here. For some of you, you're discovering the truth. You're going to start to discover some sort of truth here. All right. There's an, uh, a discovery. There's something that you find out. There's something here that maybe you found out already, right? Take it how it resonates. Everybody's different. But I feel like someone here discovered something, whether I discovered it on their phone, online, I found something out. This person, you know, accidentally spilled something out or said something. But I found something out here. Maybe I found out that you don't want a family, right? Maybe I found out that you are silently or secretly, you know, not telling me exactly how you feel about having a family with me, right? And that's not fair. So for some of you here, you could be connecting with someone. Maybe you're in a connection. Maybe you're in a marriage or a relationship here. And there's somebody else that you're reconnecting with. But someone here is very afraid of someone or other people finding out something. There's some sort of secret here that I feel like someone here is afraid of people finding out about. Okay. I'm also getting an energy of we're, we've been dating for a while. What's next here? Someone here could be extremely guarded. And I feel like there's this energy of slowly but shortly, I'm opening up slowly but shortly, I'm um, becoming sloppy. Someone here could be becoming very sloppy. And maybe when they're, you know, a bit, you know, intoxicated or when they're just in their leisure, they accidentally slipped up and said something. And it made you realize a lot about their childhood or made you realize a lot about, you know, their family situation. Okay, some of you are also in a position where someone has or is hiding you from their family or hiding you from the truth of what they want when it comes to stability. Okay, there's also an energy of I've been lying about how much I could give to you or I haven't been honest with how much I could give to this connection. And maybe for some of you, you haven't noticed that yet. But with this Knight of Pentacles energy here, there's a strong energy of how can I give to you here? See, I, I don't get that energy of I'm wanting to give up. I'm wanting to give up. I don't feel like this person's wanting to give up. I feel like this person is in a place where as they're judging you, they're judging themselves at the same time, right? Maybe this person has said some things again that you're like, wait, but that's not really nice, right? But at the same time, this person's really more so expressing um, that insecurity about themselves. So pay attention to those um, conversations that you're having. But with this energy here with the pentacles, I do feel like someone here is wanting to come in and offer you something, right? I want to offer you something, but I'm not too sure if you'll actually be able to accept it or I don't know if you'll... 
Hmm. I don't know if you'll appreciate what I want to offer you. Someone here gave someone a piece of jewelry or there's some sort of clothing here that someone gave someone. I'm also getting an energy of some of you returning something and someone was very surprised that you returned something. Okay, maybe someone has a gift for someone and they're wondering, should I give you this gift? Should I actually buy you a gift? Should I give you something here? Someone here gave someone a gift and someone here can't stop thinking about that gift. Oh, wow. I feel like someone here is wanting to... Jesus. I'm wanting to work, I'm wanting to work around this blockage. There could be some sort of emotional blockage. Someone here is trying to find a way to not let something end here for some of you, okay? Um, someone here is saying, you know, maybe if I open up a little bit more, this won't end here. There's the death energy here. So there's a very, very big transition happening in this connection, right? And I feel like for a lot of my viewers, the energy that you're stepping into, remember, we have a lot of planets just shifting and moving and all that jazz. Look at, look at you here, after a time of grievance, after a time of, you know, really having to pick up your, you know, your head and pick up your chin and, and smile and laugh and glow again. Now everybody wants you. Look at these two energies in the back here. They're, they're spying on you. They're watching you. They're watching how great you've become. They're watching how honorable you are. And this is such an interesting energy because I feel like you're so unbothered. Look how unbothered my viewers are. And I don't feel like you're doing it out of, you know, trying to be spiteful, but I feel like something here shifted for you, right? It's like I tried to emotionally give to something and I only felt like it was not reciprocated. Something here created some sort of blockage. And I feel like that blockage created a shift within you or a shift within a connection here. And I feel like someone here can't stop thinking about how do I get your attention here? But it's so interesting because when you were grieving, when you were hurting, some of you could have lost someone and someone here turned their back on you or when you were going through some financial issues or court issues or just life, someone here wasn't really here for you because they were on the road or on, on a roll of focusing on other things while you were so sad. And I feel like you've literally evolved from that here. Like I've grown from anxiety. I've grown from, you know, um, giving up. I'm not giving up anymore. A lot of you are no longer giving up. Maybe you lost your job and now you're successful. Some of you here are in, um, you know, this position where you're wanting to, ev you know, evolve within your career. And that's what's happening with this queen of pentacles. Look how amazing you look. I can't even get over that. So in the extended here, we'll jump in and we'll look at, you know, how you're expressing yourself in this connection, what this person is knocking for. Someone here is like knocking. I'm knocking. I, I have something to say to you here. We'll actually look at this person's intentions here. Someone here wants to, I, f I feel like for some of you here, someone here wants to get back into that, that heart space of yours here, but you're so focused all right. So we'll look at what's moving, you know, what's happening for you in the future. And again, what this energy here is wanting to offer you and what it looks like. All right. Of course, subscribe and like if this resonated for you. I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. But now this person is having like this realization of, you know, can we talk? Right. Can we talk as I possibly have been connecting with other people? I'm still trying to get to your heart. I'm still trying to see.